What's happening with bees? When people ask me about bees, they usually don't know exactly what bees are. They often think of the honey bee, basically because it gives us honey. The honey bee is only one of the many bee species, and it is quite special because it is managed by beekeepers. But there are many more wild bees. Some are big, others small, hairy, or shiny. Some have long antennae, others short antennae. Some have a red behind, some have a yellow behind. There are more than 20,000 different species of bees in the world. For context, there are twice as many bee species as bird species. Most live solitary lives rather than nesting in colonies with a queen, and they are crucial for plants. For example, some bee species are awesome at pollinating tomatoes, while others are good with rosemary, pears, or blackberries. Altogether, they allow plants to reproduce including most of the crops that feed us. Unfortunately, many of them are disappearing. But why? Well, the problem is complex. The main cause is that we are destroying the places where they live. We have turned woods and grasslands into crop fields and cities where many wild species cannot survive. On top of this, we use pesticides on our crops, intoxicating the few species that can adapt to them. Climate change also affects them. For example, when temperatures rise, some species are forced to find cooler places to live. If they don't find them, they simply die. Also, we are moving many species around the world. Some of them bring new diseases, with devastating effects for native bees. We know that each of these things is causing some bee species to disappear. But when they happen simultaneously, the extinctions may multiply. What can we do? Well, many things. First, we need to better maintain our landscape by preserving natural areas. Also, we need to make our cities and crops more friendly for bees. For example, growing native flowers in them. We have to minimize pesticides, even avoid them if possible. We need to slow down global warming by reducing CO2 emissions, and that's not only for bees. Also, we have to be more careful to avoid moving animals indiscriminately around the world. Stopping bee decline is in our hands. In yours, too. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of our videos. Stay tuned. I've got another fast fact video coming right up.